a masked man with loaded guns drives up to a Dallas police station and threatens officers. What he told police he wanted to do set off a chain reaction of concern among a police force already on heightened alert. Our Ken Mullis seen live tonight at a substation. And Ken, some at DPD told you tonight this never should have gotten this far? Well, you know, Doug, this is not the first time that a Dallas police station has been threatened or has been attacked in recent memory. As a result of all of this, this is what police officers at all substations throughout the city have resorted to doing. They're essentially posted up in front of their station, in front of their parking lots as security. Now, earlier tonight, I spoke to the Dallas Police Association president who says after what happened here today, it's yet another reminder that something better needs to be done to protect these officers. These incidents are starting to become more often. Dallas Police Association's President Mike Mata says you can add today's threat to the list of times where a Dallas police station has been targeted. Investigators say 22-year-old Adan Salazar drove up to the station and was confronted by officers in the parking lot. They say he was wearing a mask, armed with two handguns and several magazines of ammo. Authorities say they stopped him from what could have been a violent attack. He just mentioned that uh, he, he was here intending to shoot. He was arrested and charged, and while this threat was stopped quickly, Mata says it's just another reminder of the harm some people want to cause police. It's almost every year we have something happening. It was back in 2015 that the police headquarters was shot up. In February of this year, the South Central substation was also fired at. And who can forget last July's deadly ambush of five police officers in downtown Dallas, three of which worked out of the Southwest station where today's threat happened. They're showing up with a, with a cause. They're there for a reason, and that reason is to injure or kill officers. Mata says something needs to be done to better protect Dallas police stations. We need to do what the city swore they would do two years ago, and that is upgrade their facilities and with fencing and with uh, some type of, of access, guarded access, so that officers can feel safe in their second home. Uh, police officers tell me they are having to deal with the anti-cop uh, sentiment on a daily basis now. And as you would imagine, that is extremely sensitive for a police station that lost three of its own officers in that ambush last July. We're live in Dallas. Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.